I'm Dick Niffing. And I'm Diane Anderson with your overnight KRQE.com webcast. First, let's go to Mark Ronchetti for the weather. We are looking at fewer storms across the area for Friday. Some spot storms possible, especially over the northern mountains. But for the most part, we're going to see increasing southwesterly winds across the state into the weekend, and that will dry us out. There may soon be another indictment in a New Mexico political scandal. Political blogger Heath Hausman reports Attorney General Gary King will take his investigation of the state housing authority to a grand jury on Friday seeking indictments. It is not clear how soon indictments might come down. The case centers on claims that money intended to provide housing for low-income New Mexicans has been misused. Former State Representative Vincent Smiley Gallegos who once headed a regional housing authority district in Albuquerque, is a key figure in this probe. An eight-year-old boy from Santa Fe County has died of bubonic plague. The state health department says his 10-year-old sister is hospitalized with that illness but is recovering. They are the first New Mexico human plague cases of the year. Memorial services are set for Saturday for 13-year-old Corbin Hayes. The Rio Rancho teen was swept away while swimming in the Rio Grande last Thursday. Divers recovered his body on Tuesday. The memorial service will be at 1 o'clock Saturday at the Rio Rancho High School gym, followed by burial at Vista Verde Memorial. Memorial Park. A reception will follow at the Rio Rancho High School cafeteria. Join Mike Powers, Deanna Sassetta, and Mike Hernandez for all the overnight developments. That's at 5 a.m. sharp on KRQE News 13 this morning.